fate. Wow. So, they really think they can fight me. You know, sometimes being able to see what all our four are thinking is as annoying as listening to a song played off key. I'm not sure how this happened. I was supposed to crush them with adversity. My plan was to live in things up by making them fight for their happiness and fail. Instead, here they are, trekking off to Goa and starting to piece things back together. I really thought I pushed them down much, much harder. These four are tough, I guess. Much tougher than I imagined. Of course, we are only talking about emotional movement so far. So maybe even though they think they have the worst of everything behind them, in reality, peace of mind is not as important as they believe it is. They still have so many things to work through. We have to see how Vivan is going to pull off a career. Even if he doesn't have Musafir, he still has to make a living. He can't live on love. After all, I'm sure he's going to do something. But will it ever be on the grand scheme that he had planned? I doubt it. I'm enjoying watching Mira struggling with her writing. She had it too easy before. Her first became first books came without much of a struggle. Maybe she is just going to have to give up on her writing too. It certainly seems like hope is trickling through her fingers. It's fun watching her toss and turn at night, eyes opening wide as she tries to figure out how to make her book move forward because that car has most certainly run out of the petrol. I think she better start thinking about a career for herself. Maybe she can work for Vivan. Oh wait, he doesn't have a business anymore. Haha. <laughs> and then there are Kabir and Nisha. In her inspired attempt to reunite everyone with their dreams, she pretty much sapped the rest of the savings. We all know how bitter couples can grow when they are fighting about money. I hear that that is one of top causes of divorce. It's looking like that this trip to Goa might just blow up in Nisha's face. They are fools. Total fools. Just because you expect something to work out one way doesn't mean it will. That is what puts the spice in life though and I'm much stronger than them. I'm the bird that flies through the storm. Why? Because I can. I have the strength to pull my wings through the winds and the rain, weaving in and out of warm and cold drafts. You can try to keep up with me. You can push yourself to fly through your own storm. Just be careful you don't smack into a wall while you're dancing on the breeze. Hitting things when you're traveling at a high speed? Well, it isn't very forgiving.